Oh, uh, this episode of Mob Rules brought to you by Stuff. You know, I should have brought a thing. Oh man, Dave You're, can't even open. I up got, yours. I got you. This one is okay. This one's not twist off. It's not, it's not a twist cap. I thought wait, I was being uh, smart. Wait, 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 wait. You ready? <clears throat> well, that was sad sounding. No, you ruined it. Crisp hey. apple, my ass. Mm. While I'm eating, welcome to Mob <laughs> Rules. Man, this is such a great intro. Oh, so such a good intro. This, this is why we have off weeks, guys. Mm. Football teams don't play 365 days a year. <laughs> <clears throat> and neither should we. Uh, hey, back uh, second time in December, or I guess the Christmas period, because last time was because it's our November. Gift to you, it's our gift to you, the fans, to yeah. hear us every week. So you hear us more, but less at a time. Thanks for putting up yeah. with us. Yeah. You um, idiots. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Uh, so, Why would you uh, do that? Man? Yeah. So here we are. We but don't thanks. Really, mm. We don't really have a plan for this one. Nah. No. Nah, I'm. Mean, we're just. We're waiting on. Um, Chester Peru. Yeah. Chester Peru to show up. He's. We've been uh, waiting patiently for Chester Peru to show up. We're gonna interview him later. I he, keep. He's bringing those uh, n- uh, New Points beers. Mm, the New Points beers. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think he's getting some of the uh, detachment uh, uh, vodka. Dude, I like this guy. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be here any minute now. Sounds like a real any party. Any minute. Sounds like a real party. Oh. Nope. 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 Not him. Just the, just the plumber. You actually made me look when you did that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was Hopefully so Chester, excited. <laughs> Hopefully Chester Brew will come at 730 at night. <laughs> Dude, I don't want any guy named Chester coming in at 730 at night. <laughs> you don't like what happens in park? Vegas stays in Vegas, Danny. Come on, Ooh. you know the rules. Seven thirty somewhere, but mm-hmm. hey, anyway, what we all been up to in this last week? Oh man, you I, guys, you guys actually been up to stuff, and we well, we've been up to stuff for a while now. Uh, I painted up uh, my test custode model, beautiful, fine tuned the uh, the process so I could speed through it faster and not take twelve days that's what i find like you paint one guy right and then you're like all right now i know how to do this bam get him done yeah did him in weird stages that i don't recommend anybody ever doing it's like i'm painting half the gold all right half of his armor is completely painted now i'm gonna paint his weapon for no reason cool back to the red i did that with my black legion guys like the first guy did is i sprayed black and then trimmed gold and then i was like fuck that and then i sprayed gold and just did dots of black yay Yeah. yeah Yeah, I, I my my but, original scheme was the black, uh, the shadow keepers, because I I wanted to match up with Cody's uh, uh, death watch closer in scheme, and so I sprayed black and I started trying to paint all the trim, yeah, gold. <laughs> I got about a quarter of the way done and went, nope, gonna just repaint everybody gold. That's how we're gonna do it. Yeah, this is when I get my Austin Powers soundboard with I love gold, but I don't have it. So just imagine it happen. Hmm. Hmm. I'm imagining it right now. I'm closing yeah. my eyes. Would have Let's been all good, take though. a minute and just have <laughs> dead air. And Would imagine. have been good. Let's take a moment of silence for gold. Hmm. Was that chapter? Oh, nope. No. no. Oh, shit. Shit. Stop shit. it. You're making me look every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yeah, swear to so. God, David, this turns out to be some elaborate prank, and you pull out the book. I'm going to fucking punch you. Oh, dude, dude. If I, <laughs> I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. You will not leave here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was, <laughs> mine was comically fun. Daddy's yeah. was literally threatening. I, you should have seen me at work yesterday. I'm going to put your head in the air fryer. Before I got the email saying there was a problem and uh, we weren't going to get it in time. The I, I jumped. I literally jumped up every time the door opened. I was like, huh? Oh, it's just you, employee, who wants access. Like an excited puppy. Yeah. Like, I barked. To let you know that there was somebody at the door. <laughs> but that's okay. We got to talk about your amazing looking custodians instead. Because you're really going for um, uh, hobby scores to yeah. kind of max out as much as you can there. Yeah. Uh, and you're kind of going all out. So tell us a little bit about your custodes. Well. Or custodes. Cus- custodes? The custodes. The janitors? The janitors. So. Um, Janitors. Uh, I, I'm. So I perfected the gold uh, on Celestine. When How I humble Celestine. of you! Well, I, the my I, 
<laughs> <laughs> I perfected my method for the gold on Celestine. How does that sound? I mean, so less arrogant, yeah. but, but slightly. Do you don't think you have anywhere to go from here? No, I'm pretty much the I'm pretty much the top. You're I'm the all top right. of the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> best in Alaska. Um, no, so it it's a. I'll uh, make sure to mention that to the multiple gold <laughs> dealers <laughs> that live in Alaska. Yeah, mm. only one of them do I respect. Okay, the other one's a hack. <laughs> was like, shit man your gold looks good but did you perfect it like Dave did <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just let the wash pool just right in that gold <laughs> oh my god whoa so- why are you drilling barrels I thought you wanted it to look good <laughs> uh, <laughs> so many callbacks so, in off weeks oh god yeah <laughs> wow mm. so far I, we, no, I, well I you really pulling p- wash Jeff the custodes mm-hmm. um, and not drilling barrels mm. In the three minute thing we haven't even started we haven't even started on the old jokes yet oh man oh uh, just wait the day uh, is young unlike dave <laughs> there you so, go so see how i set myself up yeah, so i see that yeah is. you really did uh perfect yeah um no it's it's just uh coat the entire model of retributor uh i don't recommend personally spraying retributor because the color is different than comes out of the pot okay um then a flesh wash over the entire model let sure. it pool let it pool. Do you do uh, the gloss flesh wash or the normal? No, flesh Reglan wash? flesh shade. It's but there's a gloss version. There's a there's gloss, a gloss version. Really well. I thought it was yeah. only Agrax and Nolan. No, no, gloss. there's a gloss of the Reglan as well. <laughs> no, flat. Okay. Flat. Um, and then I go back over it with uh, Retributor to smooth out any spots where I, you know, the Reglan is too high. And then I take Liberator and I start hitting edges, leaving behind some of the Liberator. And then I go back over with uh, Stormhost Silver. Mm-hmm. Uh, in just a couple spots to give it that extra sheen and you know Shiny then i like start timer. over because i invariably have fucked up at some point in time yeah uh definitely make sure that you don't paint all your gold before you paint everything else on the model because then you'll just be painting the gold again mm. i discovered on that first guy um but yeah that's that's how that's how i got to really good gold i was you know i was really happy with it the way it looks um, so for for my gold that I've been practicing for my Black Legion. I think I've kind of settled on Retributor Spray because I'm lazy. Right. Yep. And also it's just trim. Good move. Yeah. Um, and then for the wash, I was doing a brown wash, but I do a um, a green wash now. Mm. Yeah, green is good. Purple's then, good too. Yeah, yeah, I use the purple on my knights. Um, but like the green is basically because like, uh, like if it has like a sort of a green tint to it, then I can be like, oh, it's got like a little warp glow or something yeah. like that too. So yeah, I hit it with the green, and then uh, everything else pretty much the same as, as you do though with the retributor, and then like a little bit of silver on top. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's time consuming, but I it's, haven't it's quite worth perfected it. mine. But well, obviously, I mean, you'll get there, man. I'll get there hopefully Someday. one of these days after painting one miniature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's that's generally when I find when I perfect. <laughs> that's when it works. <laughs> nah, he's he's never gonna get there because he's gonna finish this one and go. That took way too long, and then just stop at the spray. No. No, because I have like 30 Havocs. I want not Havocs. Uh, 30 Raptors. Flyable, Raptors I want to build now. Nice. To go with uh, a little Ra- World Eater Ra- action. Harkin. Harkin. Oh, Harkin, no. The world world Eaters. No, sorry. Harkin, uh, world Taker. Breaker. Break- yeah, yeah. There world go. Breaker. Man. He seems fun. He seems fun. The, so the rules for Harkin came out today. By the way, guys, uh, we're jumping around all over the place. Today. Yeah. We literally have no format. Nope. Um, we just wanted to But we, we already to have your download, so thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you've been counted. You've been counted. Um, but uh, Harkin, so we had some Harkin, but we had some rules leak for, uh, well, not leak, but pro- be provided by Warhammer yeah, Community. Previewed, if you will. We, we'd previewed. be leaking them right now if we could. I'm um, giggity. Uh, about Marnus, Ka- or sorry, Carnal Malgar Reborn. Carnal, yeah, right. Which, uh, thank you, loyal listeners, for sending us the picture of Calvin in his box <laughs> on Twitter. Because <laughs> oh, that's, that's ex- great. That's yeah. exactly what I imagine the Primaris, or the Rubicon Primaris to be. <laughs> um, and then also the same guy. Uh, Chaz texted me and was like uh, saying that he was a basket case, which is an old English word for describing someone in World War One without arms and legs. Oh, so wow, that's good old basket case. Oh, Cardinal because Malgar. The, he fits into a basket. Yeah. Ah. So I want to see you uh, your your best weave paint jobs in the new uh, Cardinal <laughs> Malgar model. <laughs> well, for his hair. But yeah, for his hair, give him a good. You have weave. to imagine it's a weave, right? Like you've got to. I mean, yeah. if he doesn't have any limbs, at uh, least how does it's he a have toupee. follicles. 
Right. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the rules came out for Calgar. Uh, it's Calgar Reborn, uh, a little bit better. Uh, I've seen him described lot, as... A lot of it better, actually. I've seen him described as uh, Baby Gulliman. Yeah, uh, Gulliman which, Light. Yeah, yeah. Gulliman Light, he Baby He doesn't Gulliman. get the, the wound... Yeah, the rerolls are pretty huge. But yeah, he, yeah, he, you don't reroll wounds with him. You still have to pay for a lieutenant for one. So he but does for have half the points, right? I mean, like, right? Oh, he's he's going to be. You'd imagine he's going to be about two two fifty, something mm, along that. Maybe yeah, I more. Would, I would be right in between those. Is where I'd price him two twenty. Right. Well, he's eleven power. So, um, oh man. So okay. Yes, yeah, so look at us. With, I didn't even know that. Man, that was my guess. <laughs> look at us with our amazing power of the press and amazing knowledge of all inner workings of stuff. Uh, um, but no, like uh, his rules are amazing. Like a uh, toughness five with a two up armor save and eight wounds is insane. The fact that he halves all damage he takes yeah, buddy, is insane. Yeah, he is a four that's... up and vulnerable. So mm-hmm. it's like he is a max. If you shoot him with a last cannon, he is at max got a 50% chance of losing three wounds. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Which is insanely tough it's really really hard and he's protected by the character rules so you can't pick him out people are taking less snipers now uh especially eldar players like sure. myself very irritated that they can't infiltrate rangers so they don't take him as much well you don't have to worry about snipers well I mean, you can you always can, keep him in your deployment so mm-hmm. why you would can, i do that you I can fill up a, the board with random shit you got to ignore <laughs> i'm planning on t- turning an entire squad well, i just have to change my tactics and improve every time the meta shifts what the hell <laughs> <laughs> that's not how getting better works come on Everyone else gets progressively worse, and I stay the same. I read, go. I read the <clears throat> book, Getting Good with Danny. Getting Good with Danny. You read? It was an audio book. Oh, God. Well, it's <laughs> got so hieroglyphs so that Dave can understand what's happening. In <laughs> That's fair. I would pay to see a picture of you writing <laughs> <laughs> How many just <laughs> floppy wangs are you? <laughs> it's a lot of dicks. All right. Oh, a lot of dicks. <laughs> floppy wang, hard triangle. Dick. That's, hard dick. That's Harley Quinn. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that the head of the penis? Oh, the eye of terror. Right. Foreskin, foreskin. Oh, no, the eye of terror is clearly a butthole. I mean, it's clearly, all, clearly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, his gauntlet, I think, is pretty much the same as before. Yep, it's the same. I'm actually kind of disappointed in that. Why? Well, well, well he's got the I same mean, gun. Man. If you if you're slapping, <laughs> if you're what's it's, what's the difference between? I, I actually think that the uh, his his weaponry is actually not as good as the aggressor armor he's wearing. Right, but luckily he has a two-up save, a four-up and vulnerable halves all damage, and has eight wounds, so you can't shoot him. So he has a two damage minus one AP Stormbolter, right? As long as he's not shooting at yeah, another Yeah, well, it's a ra- rapid fire two. Right, so that's a Stormbolter. Minus one, two damage, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's so at, at best pretty it's, good. Uh, what, three shots? Four shots. Four, Four shots. shots. Yep. Hitting on twos, rerolling misses. Stuck without wonder. I don't know. Yeah, he seems okay. I mean, if you if He's you're s- struggling to squeeze girly man in your list, he seems like a good secondary option. Sure, uh, and especially as a good support for aggressors as well, I where you're throwing out eighteen thousand shots. T five is a big bump. T five yeah, is. is a bump. Eight yeah, wounds is. is a bump. Yeah, sure. It's and six attacks and instead of six five. attacks. Yeah, so. Going through that little cardboard box has, has made him uber powerful. So, d- what's uh, Harkon's power? Do you guys uh, Harkon? His um, which power are, we, uh, are you wanting to know? Power his, level. his uh, or his power level? Like I would guess six. six. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah, because I was thinking one hundred fifteen points was like oh, my. I called one twenty. Is like I'd be okay playing one twenty for that guy. Sure. I he shouldn't cost too many points. His weapon is just a normal lightning claw. And a, and an unnormal I mean, spear that's okay. Maybe. Yeah. It just it says what he's armed with in his profile at the top. It says he says the spear and a lightning claw. So the hell spear, uh, range twelve, assault one, uh, strength five, AP minus three, D three damage. Oh, I'm sorry, strength plus one, but you so know, I chaos. yeah, it's still a four up involve. So so okay, if he gets to use the spear in combat, then he's probably decent. Um, but if he has, if he only gets to throw the spear. Uh, he's only okay. He's already only okay because he's just a you know, fancy raptor. Yeah. But I like that he he transfers the raptor buff to all raptors, which is neat. So you can take him with like you know people with better raptors. Yeah. Black Legion. Also, his other special rule, which seems more gimmicky than anything else, is his attacks increase by one every time he kills a character. That's cool. So. Yeah. I mean that's kind of that's kind of fluffy and fun actually. It's fluffy, fun, a little situational. Less less um, characters floating around now though. 
So, like I said, company commanders, beware. He can sure. Jump on all over, just slaughter you very easily. He might be able um, to kill you in one round of, one round of combat. Yeah, warlocks, beware. Like, there you go. Again, That's a good time. Yeah. Little, little, yeah, uh, one, like, low wound characters. I mean, honestly, if I was playing against him, I would kind of start farming those guys out to try and force his movement to certain places. Like, hey, I'm going to leave this two wound warlock, three of them, individual ones over there. Please ignore the, you know, <laughs> please ignore the 36 dire Avengers <laughs> behind those guys. Yeah, you don't want to chop through those guys, do you? No, 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 you don't. No, let me just shoot you. But Seagull of Corruption, so he has a four up and vulnerable two. Um, pretty standard Chaos Lord with just a couple extra gimmicks. Yep. Rad model, but we already knew that. Um, yeah. It's interesting to see. Yeah, it'll be cool. But that's pretty much the only new characters coming out for the book. We have a new unit as well with the Primoner, uh, sorry, the Primaris Honor Guard. Yeah, I think they're the Vicatrix uh, Guard. Yeah, <coughs> Vitric, uh, Vicatrix, yeah. They, uh, I think that's how you I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I was thinking like those with Gulliman are even better. Um, oh, yeah. Because I don't know when they <coughs> slough off stuff, if it's after the hit but before saves. Yeah. Well, But even like, you know, saying, oh, you shot me with the last cannon? Well, on a 2+, plus, I'm going to throw it to this guy with a Storm Shield. Yeah, Which is pretty I, rad. I I want to know about uh, Calga or um, Carnal Malgar's special Primaris guard that he have. Yeah, that's what, that's that's what, what we're talking that's about. What we're talking about. Well, because there's still the the regular guys as well. I thought there's also those honor guard that they're going to sell separately. Um, the one that the ones that there are the ones in set. the existing uh, codex, right? I think yeah. I think there's just the normal honor guard in the codex. So. Um, but these new guys, if they are if they follow the same format but just have different armaments, they'll be Primaris, so they'll be at least two wounds apiece. Yeah, no, they're... they're and two up armor saves. The two that come with him in the box have uh, are definitely Primaris, so... Right, for sure, for sure. So, it'll be interesting to see. I, You know, I have to buy him just because he's Primaris to have him in and the collection. And these are the first Primaris with Storm Shields. Yeah, they are. Big ass storm shields. So I'm pretty happy that that's going to be a continuing thing that space let's, marines have. Let's call them what they really are. Those are those are old school 30k breacher shields. Okay, <laughs> repurposed. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen some storm shields, and you know they're like the size of a forearm. Sure. So well, it's all about the the field, not the actual shield, right? The field, not the shield. Field, not the shield, baby. Right. There, there's a shirt right there. Not really. That's terrible. <laughs> hey, Danny, you played some games. Uh, I I did yeah. play a couple of games. Tell tell us about your games. So I teamed up with our friend Nate uh, to play in a team event. Um, we had six. It was kind of, uh, it was a uh, low turnout, but bigger turnout than the last one of these that we had. Um, we had six teams, including some new guys, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, and so Nate and I played Knights and uh, Astro Militarum. So I brought a Valiant and two Armager Warglaives. And then Nate brought... Uh, a uh, Castellan and a guard and a guard battalion. So uh, we were limited to two detachments each. So and I, so I was gonna bring something a little bit different, but the earthquake kind of stymied my plans. In that, oh yeah, we had yeah. a massive earthquake. Yeah, Thank a, you for everyone yeah. who uh, reached out and yeah, for sure. Make sure, sure, sure we were, sure we're still alive. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we, we are. That. John John resumed his memeing like <clears throat> as mu- as soon as he could. Yeah, yeah. I was actually driving on the highway when it happened and we like hit hit and I thought I got a flat tire. <laughs> um, so I like I started slow down, pull over to the side of the road. Um, but then I realized it wasn't a flat tire. My truck was just bouncing up and down. So that was fun. Hooray. Yeah. yeah the rest of us were at work like normal idiots. Yeah, so I got to work on Friday for 15 minutes Ugh. and then uh, and then the office was closed for uh it's the state offices have been closed since so yeah. hopefully i think we're going back to work tomorrow i need to check my email and make sure but yep so anyway uh so <sighs> of course right after the earthquake what do alaskans do man we get back in there we went we go to a warhammer tournament that's i mean that's true for day. half of the or one third of the alaskans sitting at this table so <laughs> i so I, I was supposed to play but my partner his his house uh, was just, just wrecked inside. looked like oh, it looked like sucks. a tornado had gone off in a trailer park. You know, is that because he lives in a trailer park <laughs> in Kansas? Yes, um, it is. You were gonna fly him up here for this team, right? For yeah, and so it's very no, I, like he he didn't know where everything went. 
you know, we're, he's still finding his models as he's so still picking up his house. Sounds like my hobby room before the earthquake. Right. <laughs> it sounds like Danny's hobby room as well. So Yeah. I, my hobby room got totally trashed. Like, all my shelves fell down um, and, like, dumped all their contents in the middle of the floor. So, well, there was already a big pile of shit in the middle of the floor. Like, this just added to it. So, I probably have, like, a three-foot high pile in the middle of my room that consists of books and models yeah. and... I'm just glad Sadness. you weren't in there when the when the earthquake <laughs> happened. Cause oh, dude, I would have ran out of that room so fast. That's well, the I mean, most dangerous place in the house. <laughs> it's it's scary to me because I mean something fell and broke your window. So I mean it's sure you know <laughs> it's yeah definitely claimable on homeowners insurance or whatever it is that the yeah you've got you should get that checked out now. Yeah, probably. Anyway. Uh, that's boring. No one wants to talk about insurance. So <laughs> play games. Back Tell me to yeah. games. Back to forty k. So uh, we played uh, one game at the start of the tournament, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> Very gentlemanly wow. of you. Um, okay. We played against our friends uh, Lee and uh, Leon. Um, the Lees. Yep. So it was <clears throat> Blood Angels and Tau versus our Knights, and the Valiant was Valiant. And did an amazing amount of work. I'm, so I managed to get cover on him for the first turn. Like, cause we, oh, because you went second? Oh, man. We stole the initiative. Oh. Do, you, do you mean a bunch of flamers <laughs> against Tau? It was very effective. <laughs> oh. So, like, on the first turn, we killed Lee's... Well, he set up his one of his Riptides outside of uh, range of the drones. So we're like, all right, well, that one's going to die. <laughs> so <laughs> Nate shot at it with the Castellan and ended it. And then... Uh, my uh, my Valiant killed like I don't know a bunch of Fire Warriors and they couldn't kill anything on our turn and we ended up like like second turn was bad because I lost both my uh, Armagers both my Armagers that turn but it was mostly due to Sanguinary Guard like they okay. definitely wasted well take that back only one unit of just a Smash Captain made it in but then this just tr- but to charge like the Smash Captain like ended up being in front of the rest of his army, so it was closer than anything else. And so Nate shot a bunch of mortars at him and killed him. <laughs> Leon never seems to have luck with the Smash Captains. He's he's learning. So we were helping him as the game goes through. Like, dude, don't forget about this rule. Don't forget oh, about for that. Sure. Once you, Which once you had decidedly got him crushed. You, no, no, I would have done that anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. He's a good guy. He just guy. He gets super excited about his thing. So like you said, he'll, he'll charge his Smash Captain in like head first into something. Not just thinking, thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, not thinking about the fact that afterwards he'll be in the middle of the table surrounded by every single gun in your army. And like, right. he, he probably could have charged his captain in such a way that it still would have been within six of the standard of sacrifice so that he could have gotten like a five-up field no pain on him. Um, but he, he wanted to go for it a little bit too hard. Anyway, that um, so that game, yeah. that game was we won by max margin. Um, and then the second game, we ended up playing against uh, uh, our teammate Taylor and our current uh, Ursa champion, uh, Matt Goodwin, um, which was uh, decidedly tougher, although we still got first turn. So we were able to uh, cheat. I think. No, did we get? No, we got second turn. We went second. I'm sorry. We went second in that game. But they moved up and didn't do a ton of damage to us. Because you pop, did you pop the uh, cover strat? No, because it doesn't work on knights. Oh, right. Okay. So, and it didn't matter because all of our other stuff was out of range. And so I rotated ion shields on one of my armagers because he got shot at by four multi meltos. So I was like, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I can't let you have a kill point in the first round. So. Right. I don't want him to get first blood. Yeah. So he, he didn't Smart. die. He took six wounds, but still, like, it, it was worth it. And then, uh, Yep, the value was ridiculous in that game. And uh, Taylor made some mistakes because it was... I'm sorry, this is Harlequins and Sisters uh, versus us. And so he made some mistakes where he could have left models in combat, but he fell back because... like, And so it allowed me to Overwatch. And my Overwatch was not good, so... Oh, you mean a 3D6 flamer? Yeah, but I, I rolled poorly a couple of times. Okay. Um, and <laughs> still, still, 17. oh, not good as in they were terrible. No, as in it's really painful. Oh, it was, like. I'm sure it was painful. Although every time he charged me, I killed something. Like, killed one unit. The first unit that charged me died. And then the second unit got mauled, but made it. So, like, he charged, first turn, he charged with a, he charged with a, uh, 
Uh, Star Weaver. Yeah, there you go. Penis. Penis mobile. And uh, charged in, uh, died. And then he charged with a squad of Harlequins, but they lived. Um, it made it in, locked me up. And then he charged with two other squads of Harlequins and did a, a ton of wounds to me. Um, and then he, and then I fell back out of combat, uh, in which case he charged me with a bunch of other stuff the next turn. Um, and I killed a bunch of sky weavers. No, the last sky weaver. And then, uh, and then he charged Celestine, they charged Celestine in there. Celestine uh, he killed both of the honor guards and did like five wounds to her. Yeah. I, I learned that, uh, Celestine is not tough enough to take on a valiant. Dude, yeah, she can't tank the hits. It's too much. A uh, a Castellan, I, I would think she's probably fine, but there there's too many just weight of dice rolls against. Dude, a, that flamer just clears out all the all the duders. Oh yeah, like, if you just, so the the auto hits is, are, do you in? You know. Yeah. So well, the, well, he, the flamer killed the Gemini, and then uh, everything else did did work against Celestine because she failed a couple of four ups. Anyway, because I hit with melted guns and stuff too. Um, well, well, anyway, so by that point, uh, since we only had six teams, uh, we decided not to play a third round because we had won by the max maximum amount, uh, every turn. So uh, no one could catch up. Yeah, pretty much. Even if we lost our last game, it wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. Which man, I would have pushed for that last game so that you could just sit there. <laughs> I'm going to deploy one night and leave the rest in reserve. I did play with a 50, a 50 point handicap. Oh, 50 points over. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. So. All right, anyway, uh, so I did that. I worked on some orcs this week, too. Uh, I just got my uh, Zad Snark in, so I'm pretty excited to get him. Yeah, he's a beautiful model. I yeah, like he is. Dude, he's so cool. I to finish them. He's super beefy. His bike is super beefy. I can't wait to chop up some dudes with Zad Snark. Oh, I mean, well, you saw when we were playing in the team tournament, I had <laughs> yeah. Zad Snark. He did work. He killed Pask in one, one go. Yeah. It was ridiculous, it was like awesome. how good he is with the the codex buffs here. Hopefully, he doesn't go too much in chapter. Oh, no, 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 no he doesn't go up too much <laughs> in chapter approved. Uh, we, we're not quite sure yet, though. But that's okay. That's okay. So, but otherwise, I mean, it's been a week. It's been a heck of a week, actually, since we last recorded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Massive earthquakes. Yep. Uh, destroyed hobby rooms. Um, a lot of us got paid days off of work. I hate you guys so much. It was tough, man. I got two. Danny, you got like three. three. You know, it's tough, man. These these paid vacation days, dude. Work is gonna be hell when I go back, though. Oh, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Just I'm know. hoping it is. I mean, Thanks, not man. Not because I'm <laughs> not because I want you to suffer, but because I want you to suffer. So I you think know, it's been. My favorite part of it was Saturday night. I was in, like, starting to clean up and trying to get ready for open again on Sunday. And I had a guy come up to me in a completely pitch black area while I'm sweeping up broken debris. <laughs> He's like, hey, are you guys open? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Nah. Why not? I'm like, looking around. I'm like, because of the earthquake? Oh, that affects you guys? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, which way? <laughs> um, in an hour, I had twenty of the same conversations. Oh my god, like I can't well. imagine, dude. It's yeah, I'm just like, oh man. Mm. <sighs> but luckily, I have a super supportive company who, uh, you know, put people first. That's good. Yeah, how was work on Friday day? <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, I. You know, shoved the models aside that I was going to work on on Friday prior to the Cut earthquake. The fuck out the building. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oddly enough, so when the earthquake hit, all I did was grab my coffee to make sure no debris fell into it because you got to stay caffeinated. Yeah, because I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't need. You don't want to be outside thirsty. Dude, that's, who doesn't that's want the to number one I don't need concern. asbestos and a healthy stealing, dose stealing of styrofoam. gypsum in their diet. Mm. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, all I did was uh, we had to pick up a couple boxes that fell off of our massive shelves and, and rebox them and put them back up. And then that was it. We were done and every place else was closed. So, you know, nobody, nobody needed us to do anything. So I was at work with a really irritated, angry boss because the earthquake was causing us to lose like a thousand dollars with the business on the last day of the month. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. So it's like, we, we could all go home. No, nobody goes home. 
All we, right. We we hunkered down with beer at my house and we watched Teen Titans go to the movies. Yeah, was, I watched. Uh, I was watched you guys post oh, so good. Yeah, it's so good. I was just sitting there going, I "Sure, wish I could leave." <laughs> Yet you can't. Hey, I was just so, checking back through Twitter. Um, Dave, uh, what's the difference between golfs and bad moons? <laughs> well, uh, because it seems to be that you don't quite know the difference. And that's the official work podcast. Because mm-hmm. we do talk about orcs we need a to lot. Yeah. Uh, one, uh, one is a planet that is of not good, and the other one is uh, a goth. I, me. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's what's the difference, John. What, uh, please enlighten me. I mean, me. it's not a planet. A moon is well, is an asteroid, asteroid or something stuck in orbit. It's not classified as a planet due to size. It's a it's like calling Klingon. Pluto a planet. Jesus Ooh, Christ! Yeah, God, you really have to know the times for that. Yeah, first. I know it's oh, been a while since a you've been in planet. school, <laughs> it's a but planet. Pluto isn't a planet anymore, <laughs> man. Dude, it is a planet. They actually remade it a planet again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that actually did happen. Nope, nope. As the number one Pluto <laughs> podcast, <laughs> we are uh, uh, uniquely positioned. Do you want to me to tell you about the I, bad moons and the golf, Dave? I, yeah. <laughs> well, I did learn about that in high school a long time ago. <laughs> the bad sex, moons <laughs> and the golf. <laughs> the sex ed class. But well, nowadays we also again. learn about bad moons and bad moons and golfs and golfs. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the same detachments in the same army. Ooh. Mm. It's not natural, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, tell me, tell me the difference about the two, Danny. All right. Well, goths are hitty but shooty, and bad moons are shooty but hitty. Mm, that's a that's a unique take. Mm. Hot take. Right Hot there. take. That's very controversial. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. What are the What are the colors schemes for? Uh, so bad moons are yellow. Okay. With flames. Okay. Occasionally, and then. Uh, goths are black with white checkers. Okay. So black and white checkers. They all have green skin though, Dave, because they're all mm-hmm. green on the inside. That's right. Well, technically orcs are red on the inside, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Are they? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mushrooms have, are red on the inside. Well, they have ultra oxygenated blood, which accounts for their red blood as opposed to green blood or whatever. It's been answered. Legit. Yeah. Okay. It's legit. So... Which one is the the clan that is blue and yellow? Death, Death skulls. skulls. No, well, they're blue and red. I mean, Death yeah, skulls. it's not Death Skulls. Well, I don't. I just think blue. I think you should just stick with blue. Okay. They could have different accent blue. colors, right? Yeah. Well, because so my Death Skulls are blue and red. Back when I was playing in the dinosaur, I'm sorry, my age. evil sons are blue and red. <laughs> 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 um, back when I was playing in the in the olden days. Sure. Um, Did you get your vortex grenade template out? Yeah. The uh, get some sustained fire dice for your assault cannon. Wh- one of the schemes Did you get virus bombed. Mm. You get your turn dial out for your tanks. <laughs> <laughs> did it? What hit? about your? Uh, what about your data fax cards? Oh yeah. Did did it hit you in the front side or rear armor? Because <laughs> that matters by what damage table you're going to use. Feel like this one's hitting me in every armor. Not just the rear armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's hurting all over. Um, no, so uh, blue flames f- flickering up onto yellow. I, that sounds like some made-up shit, Dave. Yeah, that sounds like you're just confusing it's blue not. for black. Um, no, I'm not. There, there was one of the clans. One of the older clans was blue and yellow. Back in the olden days, one of them was blue and yellow. You know what? If Ted was on the phone, he would be able to tell me because he. Played at the same time I did. Don't. Uh, well, okay. I mean, I still think you're confusing bad moons. It's okay that you're confused. Yeah. No, it happens sometimes. I have a old, pamphlet well, about it. I had an orc, the original metal orc dreadnought that was painted blue and yellow to match whatever the dude, clan you can paint, tactics it you was. Can you can paint no, orcs I, I, whatever dude, color yeah. you want, dude. It's it could have been your a hobby. Free, it could have been a free boot up. Yeah, we're not going to dictate how your hobby goes. <laughs> you, you are um, the master of your own hobby. Well, I have. Did you think you needed to buy a box supplement to have a psychic phase? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I did buy one. A little dark millennium action there. Yeah. yeah. Did buy one for the winds of magic back in the day. Uh, that that is a Warhammer fantasy, sir. I own that box set too, Dave. I, okay. I do own that box set as well. We are all equally as I old. Still, we just some do are you still older have it, Danny. 
I'm pretty sure I threw it away. Yeah, no, I have I, the Warhammer Magic Box still. I just don't I, have the Dark Millennium. I wish I did it the other way around and kept the Dark Millennium and threw yeah, the that's probably Warhammer way Magic. more valuable. Yeah, no one gives a shit about like fourth edition Warhammer Magic. Oh, I miss those cards. Anyway, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, that was brought up on Twitter that Dave doesn't know his difference between blue and black, which is fine. That's yeah. Some that's, blues are so dark they look black, Dave. That's Some that's blacks that. are so light they look blue, Dave. Have you ever heard the term Swear blue to God, black? If this is what? Have you ever heard the term blue black? Like a like a black that's dark but has like, like a hint of blue. Maybe blue on, blue on black tears have, on a river. Have you ever what? What is that a song? Yeah. Hmm. What song is that? Is that by uh, George Hornby? George Hornby. Is that by the Big Bopper? First off, don't you ever, <laughs> ever say anything <laughs> tragic about the Big Bopper. I, I'm not. I just no. was asking. I was just thinking maybe no. contemporary music that you'd be interested in. Dave. <laughs> was it by Little Richard? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's one of Little Richard's lesser known. Blue on oh, black, tears oh, on a okay. river. Okay, yeah. And it don't mean much. Uh, Richie Valentine. <laughs> Richie Valentine's little known this. hit. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm old and confused about color. Yeah. That was my favorite song of his. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stop picking on Dave for a little uh, bit here for a few I'm minutes. Well, uh, just for I mean, right? let's, yeah. I don't want to destroy the podcast uh, before because I know we're gonna be a shorter one here today. But Danny, uh, we we've not seen Chapter Approved before we start, so we'll we'll start off by that here. But Danny, you had a hot take on Chapter Approved based on what we've seen. So okay. so why don't like we'll pretend like we haven't seen it and we're a young hip podcast that didn't sell out i am right. getting it <laughs> this is a danny hot take um oh, oh yeah did i get a theme get music a, dude we need to get some theme music for this then don't look at me like that uh, what is this it's uh danny's hot takes nothing about this says hot to me <laughs> it's just it's not loud enough i mean it's not turning me off so let's all hear right. what you got all right so I am of the opinion that chapter approved won't change the meta in itself at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> but Danny, everyone's been saying how chapter approved is going to reset the meta. Yeah. And 40K is going to be like the most fun game ever with yeah. complete balance. I, yeah. I think it's not going to change that much stuff. Yeah. But I think that you know, some stuff will get nerfed and probably not see as much play. So it might change some of the lists that, that, are, that are there, but I don't think it's going to change the key players. I think orcs are going to be there. I think Yunari is going to be there. And I think like Imperial, mixed Imperial armies are still going to be there. I even think the Castellan is still going to be in, in, in the game, like for sure. Even with the, the rumored points bump? I don't, because, I don't buy a 100-point bump. Well, I mean, it's, so... I hope it's a 100-point bump, uh, but I don't yeah. think it's going to happen. Tuesday's article? No, Monday's article. Monday's article on Warhammer Community. Uh, they said things that get that are seeing a ton of tournament play are getting points increases sure but they didn't say what those things were and that but currently the most the things seeing the most uh points increase are things like shining spears uh dark reapers uh castellan imperial guard um loyal 32 heroic 32 yeah. the, the thing uh, is like last year but 30 uh, more points isn't spears gonna be much. and spears and well it doesn't got an in terms anyway. of imperial guard Sp- because you didn't. can't oh you didn't no that's fucking stupid what I bet they're going to get like something stupid, like a three-point increase or something like Two that. Two-point reduction. No, well, six. <laughs> that, that would be really stupid. You but heard it here first, <laughs> John. To make up for the fact uh, they're not news. minus one to hit anymore. Do you think that's actually going to happen? Um. So, ooh, hot takes. That this is a, is that is a fun, hot take. The fun of mob rules. Of so you listening to us guesstimate about things that you could go and listen to someone else tell you we appreciate facts your about. downloads for this uh, now that you realize you've been logged it's, it's fine yeah um but i hope it does honestly minus one yeah, to sure. hit i hope so too way too powerful especially like with me as an elder player i can stack it to i think a minus three is where i can max out at i think possibly minus four I think you can get to minus four. I think you can get to minus four. It's very CP if heavy. It's infantry. I really like the idea of switching to cover. I mean, I like to because like I should not be able to make a unit of guardians impossible to shoot for everything but the most elite squads in the game. I I think that a flyer that's minus one to hit but gets cover will be so stupidly powerful. You know how stupidly powerful really? a Hemlock Wraith Fighter will be? That you're hitting on a Zimmerine on not, fours. Not when orcs are on the table. And I have a two up armor save. That's what I'm saying. It's it's minus it's minus so one why, to hit right now. Right. And then it'll be a two up outside of twelve. Right. 
I think Elatar is going to be stupidly powerful with plus one, like especially if your Wraith Knight is going. Uh, we know Wraith Knights are going down at least hundred points. Yeah, so I heard three hundred five. Three hundred five for a Wraith Knight, Base. possibly base because you still have paper right. weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got a paper weapon. So, but, but still a huge drop, and having that as a two up save outside of twelve <laughs> inches <laughs> at toughness eight. Yeah, that's stupid. That is so much better than multiple minuses because there's codexes out there that can just ignore those. Like I think Deathwatch has a thing where they just like, yeah, I don't care about any minuses. I use this you know, one point Imperial strategy. Imperial fists can ignore cover. Sure. Oh yeah, because Imperial fists are the oh, most prevalent Space, Space Marine Legion. Space wolves can ignore all penalties. Yeah, Space wolves ignore all penalties hit from some stuff as well. So like playing as that, I'm like, oh okay, well or you orcs. know. Or yeah, orcs where they hit on six automatically anyway, and, and can be made to hit on fives yeah. automatically. So, like, having a plus one to your save is stupid. Uh, I think it's way more powerful, and I think people... Like, I hear a lot of people saying, like, Raven Guard are ruined, Eldar are ruined. They're not ruined by... I, I by not. far. By far. Like, I'm redoing my list to include more Wraiths and Flyers, because a two-up save with those guys. And with the Flyers, I can guarantee they're outside of 12 inches 90% of the time. With, like, with... Uh, 90% so of the time. Crimson works. Hunters and Exarchs. Does Protect have a, min a maximum one plus armor save? Um, no, it's plus one to saves, Plus right? one to saves. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. Same with cover, right? Right. So you can effectively get your Wraith Guard to a two, to a one-up? One-up save. Outside of 12? That's super good. So a last like, cannon, and I still got a four-up save. <laughs> I, I can get my custom jet bikes in the first turn to a one-up save. So what? And they're outside of 12. But, but Boom, here's roasted. The thing. For one round. For one round. This is, That's all I need the is one round. The entire game. I don't, so like I, said, I don't have the stamina to go six rounds. I'm old. <laughs> it ain't over by one hey, round. It's, it's done. You leave the one joke making to the professional rogue <laughs> trader. <laughs> Any, anyway, I think that ultimately, I don't think we're going to see that much of a reduction. Some of the players might, or some of like the units that you take in these armies might change. Like, shiny spears might get dropped because they're so bad against orcs right now. Like, mm -hmm. in so, that... So bad. So that's a hot take is that Shining Spears are bad. They're great against I think large vehicles. In, no, no. I heard him tickets. say that it, they were bad. No, no. I think they're that's good. That's fine, Danny. You can go on. You said the Shining Spears I think they're bad. good. Got I it. just think they're bad against... I just think they're really bad against orcs. Mm -hmm. Particularly the Ludas. See, whereas... I, so Shining Spears are great against knights, uh, and Custo Jet Bikes are great against orcs, really, is what it boils down to. Yeah, because... Well, and terrible against knights, depending Custo on what you're Custo Jet Bikes against. are okay against orcs. I don't know. I... I it's huge weights of fire. I can't yeah, but I, I but I think I, I, I think the loot has just ruined them. So thank you. You're welcome. I was falling asleep. It's what my nurse plays for me. Which is crazy, like that 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 unit can make that much of an impact on the game. To me, the orcs, the Ludus, Ludus. specifically. Oh yeah, 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 and they're super popular too. Ha having having played them, like it is hands down the, is like one of the best units in the whole game by a large margin. Ooh, this is way better. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, breaking news. Live and learn. This is the hot take. I love the bonk. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> anyway. John's Wraith Knight's coming right. off the shelf. Yeah, I think it might be a thing. I think it's going to come off the shelf. You're going to make a bunch of lists uh, involving it. Then you're going to put it back on the shelf and just run Dire Avengers. No, well, so my Dire Avenger core is literally like 950 points. It's ridiculously cheap for what it does. Um, and like I said, I have like a rotating 500 points that I try different things on. Sure. And everything else is pretty consistent. So if I can have... 60 Dire Avengers, like my five characters, you know, Farseer, Autark, um, Azerman, Warlock, um, and then have two Wraith Fighters and a Wraith Knight, and those three vehicles have a two up save over 12 inches away. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, no, I. It's pretty good. I, I really. So looking at the kind of the things there, if it is a plus one to your cover save, I'm going to start looking at uh, Crimson Hunters instead of Wraiths. So I can maximize that two-up save. Oh, and stay further away. To stay further away rather than okay. suiciding the men. That's something to think about. You they're, know what else they're really good at is blocking charges. Yeah. Like so, I think f the flyers are good against orcs in that respect. So I castle my characters up and put the two flyers in a triangle and yep. put all the characters behind it because they're still within six inches of the uh, all the squads that they need to be, and you cannot charge the characters. Sure. Or just all the dire adventures. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. No, I've had Space Wolves uh, rape that line very quickly. Even if they can't they can't charge through the flyers, though. Oh, Whoa. sorry. That, that Whoa. Was, Whoa. 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 What just happened? <laughs> okay. That was part of the music, dude. That was part of the music, yeah. I know, but it uh, scared me. Scared me. Yeah, uh, me too. 
<laughs> I got yeah, like, so, so like mice, like looking at what's coming out for chapter approved, and we'll know more next episode, and we'll be talking more next episode as well oh, as our regular Vigilus. Christmas stuff. So can't wait for Vigilus. Uh, for for Vigilus, mm. um, I my my army isn't really changing all that much, based on what I've seen. I'm like kind of at the knee jerk. Oh, I'm losing my crutch, my minus one. You know, the 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 plus one it, to me is way better. Oh, you know, boohoo. Uh, Iron warriors and imperial fists ignore cover saves, but I'm like. How likely am I to see Imperial Fists and Iron Warriors on the table? I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that prevalent, especially with a confirmed cultist point increase. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I. We'll see. I, I've got to change my list up I'm, because of the the uh, forty two guys that I had in Imperial Guard. If they go up by a point, that's like a fifth of a jet bike. Half. Half a jet bike. Yeah. So, but I can still get. Uh, I can switch to Skatari for two hundred points. Um, which which may or may not be getting decreases based on some yeah. comments that were made by Reese, like he was saying on the last uh, uh, signals from the front, front line. line. Yeah, yeah, he he said he was saying that his Mechanicus list dropped uh, three digits. Three digits. So, so that's over a hundred points. Crazy. A, over a hundred points in a thousand. At and least, all it took at least was the army to be points. not great. Yeah, and it, I mean it, the army was okay. It just like, but if it gets some major point reductions, I can see that being a big deal. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Like I said, uh, we don't want to really spend the whole time kind of uh, waxing poetic about it. We're going to be talking about it more next week. Eagle-eyed viewers on, or listeners on Twitter might have seen that our next episode is called Return of the Mac, which is focused on uh, Marnus Alexander Calgar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. So we're going to be talking Vigilus next week. Uh, we'll have the books in hand by next week. So uh, on release day of these books... Uh, listen to us to hear funnier versions of what you listen to all week. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> exactly. That is our selling point. Yeah, right that's there. that's yeah. our selling point is Good we give shit. you great information. Uh, we make fun of A Dave's week age, later. Uh, and it's funny because you two realize the references we're making towards Dave. Uh, so, yeah, next week we're going to be back uh, with uh, Vigilus. Uh, the, all the kind of the I think we're going to be going hard into the story of that uh, and to kind of what's happening on this planet. And then we're also going to be touching on chapter approved, see where it's taking our list. Like I said, Danny and I and, and Dave have some kind of ideas off the top of our head uh, based on what we've heard so far. But we, we'll kind of let you guys know where our thoughts are going based off of that final book. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to get the the return of Carnal Malgar. Oh, man, Woo! I'm excited. Woo, him and his shiny purple helmet. Because you know Dave he shines it all the time. Because because Dave's armor is a uh, is purple. Right. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, all right. You know, Wrap it up. It's, it's a dick joke. Uh, but anyway, yeah. For uh, mob rules, I've been John. I've been Dave. I've been Danny. Two dudes he's like name a shepherd. Like he's a fat guy or like he's Whoa no. Oh oh what? I can't say the F word? Fuck you. That's you. you can't I can't say the F word, but you can. That's your word. Yeah, I own I <laughs> own that Christ. word. That's fair. It's fair. No no John, that's fair play. Yeah.